Hello, Bumpy McSquigums here, and it's time to continue with my Let's Play of Risen 3 Titan Lords. This is episode 35, and in the last episode we were babbling to people. We were talking, and things were being said, and stuff. So, what we're going to do now is try to remember which side... Okay, we want to go this way. We want to continue the conversations and see if we can't learn a little bit more, glean a bit more info before we do whatever it is that we're going to do. I believe we were talking to you? Or was it you? Maybe it was Lumbrock. No, it wasn't. It was not you. It was you. About the monolith. Uh, okay. How many monolith stones do we need? How many monolith stones do we need? Three stones for three lightning monoliths. We've got two of them here on the island. Of course Our old friend De Fuego got one of them from us. Who is De Fuego? A gnome named Cassim. Huh. But the little chap should have been back ages ago. Who did you send to get De Fuego's stone? A cadet named Horus headed to Takarigua huh. on our orders. That was several days ago. I hope he'll be back soon. About the monolith. Okay, I think I can help you with them. I think I can help you with the lightning monoliths. Really? How? Uh, I'll figure out while I'm on the way. It can't be that hard to stick some stones in some monoliths. It can't be that hard to stick some stones in some monoliths. That's true in theory. But the problem <laughs> is, even if we have all the stones... What then? The monoliths are very far away, and they're surrounded by yeah, wild animals. Yeah, not really an issue. Make sure you're well equipped if you head out there. Well, I Thanks am. Advice. Well, aren't we nice? All right, you trusted a gnome with something as important as this? What was a mage doing with someone like Governor Di Fuego? We were once... How should I put it? Let's just say we were business partners. Uh -huh. It was a long time ago, you must understand. What happened? Well, he supported our research. And in return, we supplied him all the crystals and minerals that we couldn't use from the mines around Caldera. It went well for quite some time, until the day that all the mages were banned from Caldera. We had just enough time to save our skins. In the end, we were able to save two monolith stones from the chaos. The third one remained on Caldera. I think the Inquisition soldiers gave it to De Fuego. Huh. Interesting. You trusted a gnome with something as important as that? Hmm. Why not? They work alongside with us. All right. Once again, for the deaf, <laughs> have you placed several shiny stones into the hands of a gnome? Um... yes? And now you expect him to willingly deliver them? Yes. I think you should leave matters to someone else. <laughs> but how? How are we supposed to find Kasim again? I've seen him somewhere, I'm sure about it. Don't know where, though. About the monoliths. Oh. I found Kasim's monolith I'm a hero. stones. Ha! That means he really did hide them somewhere. Well, good that they're back now. They Yay, just have to be previous placed in the lightning monoliths. Awesome. We must hurry, young man. Yeah, it doesn't really help without all three, does it? So hurrying, probably not high on my priority list. Is somebody snoring in here? No. I've already robbed this place. I think I have. Everything so, here is neatly arranged. Please don't touch anything. I, I wasn't. I wouldn't dream of it, my friend. All right, onward to the top. Oh wow, this place is way more impressive than I originally gave it credit for. There's a lot of stuff up here I can totally pilfer, and I will. I will pilfer like a pilfering. Oh my gosh, I am now the silverware king of Tutankhamun. Look at this, and I'm gonna get glitches every single time I click something. But you know what? Can't you just scoop them all into a bag or something, man? Jeez. Uh, we're receiving lots of stuff. Oh, there's even the... Oh, it's so good. I'm sure we'll be able to use some of this at some point. Give me that tank. Give me that spoon. Can't get the cups and everything else? No? Can we take the stool or the... 
Or the throne? He's got a throne up here. I am king of the magi! Ooh, candle holder. Yeah, tankard. Oh, another knife. Oh, nobody better saw, better see me up here. Ooh, a little gnomey. Alright, we have a bench, which looks an awful lot like... Uh, we can't do that. We don't have the power. We don't have the power! It is not within us. We are the trapezius, but we don't have the power. Alright, so... We're gonna stop talking about the trapezius and everything else, and we're gonna head up here and see what's up! Stop. Oh, hello, random Master dude. Master Lumbrock's private quarters are not the place for you! Is that so? Yes, and my orders were extremely clear. Nobody is allowed to enter, and I'm sticking to that. Let me through. Let me through. Without good reason, no. I'll be back. That's what they all say, but there's no barging in here. Oh, well, with my sword and your eyeball, there's some barging in. I thought there was somebody else that was the leader. Huh. I feel as though we're missing an important individual. From the uh, Homages Guild. Mr. Mr. Delicacy Man. You know what? Forget it. Don't care about you. Alright, we're gonna go across the way to the other place now. And run like the wind. And see what's over there. Bones, are you still keeping up, buddy? Yeah, you are. Slowly, sort of, semi-keeping up. And... Hmm. Well, this was a little less impressive than I originally anticipated. Alright, so that didn't really help me much. Um, hmm. Well, it looks like I have a few missions to accomplish. Uh, I can go talk to... I can go talk to the general and see if I can't become a mage. So, let's do that. Magnus, what's up, buddy? One more thing about the mines. Yes? There is a promising deposit of crystals below the camp's well. Yes, of course. They're an important part of the mage's reactor. The crystals down there should stay where they are. I see. Okay. Thank you. I must look after my camp. Hey, you're supposed to let me join you. This game. Alright, um... Well, we can go... We can go put the monolith stones in. What do you guys have to say? Zakia likes gold. That's Homie good. Has gold. Lots of gold. Yeah. Here, take five gold. Zakia wants more gold. Homie, go and get more gold. Go earn your own gold. Amen. Now, if Homie's give gold, Zakia happy. You give Zakia gold, and Zakia tell you something. Oh, really? What are you gonna tell me? How many gnomes live on Tyrannus? Really? Oh, okay, fine. How many gnomes live on Tyrannus? Um, five. Five? Does Zakia get more gold if he says higher number? <laughs> no, Zakia gets nothing because he can't count. Give me my gold back. Well, okay. It. <laughs> All I got back from you is four gold. One is still missing. But four is much more than five, and half of eight is... Forget it. Keep the coin. It's funny. All right. Do the Guardians even trust you gnomes? Guardians only trust magic men. But eyes of Guardians overlook Gnu. So they not see when we do business. Oh, really? Right. Well, creepy. All right, what's up, Kjels? Hey, you. Come here. I'm what's already going here. On? Not so loud. Otherwise, I'll be in trouble with the guardians again. Why do we have to whisper anyway? The guardians don't want anyone to ask for help. Why? What's wrong with that? Because my story just drives people crazy. At least... That's what Hardwick said. And what is your problem, sir? What's your problem? You want the short version or the long one? Uh, sure. The long, the long version. One. All right. It was like this. Lena, Tokel, and I lived in the fisherman's hut in the valley until not long ago. 
Fishing wasn't just my dream, it was theirs too. And we made a comfortable living. Okay. And then? Well, one day, a thick fog rolled in, and it became very cold. Then we noticed the fish had stopped biting. You don't say. You don't say. And then? Well, then we decided to light a fire. But before we even managed to get it lit, we heard these strange noises. Strange noises? Yes. Coming from the fog. Something was in the fog. Creatures came out of the fog. Go on. Not just any creatures. You've never seen anything. Let me guess. Shadow, Shadow minions. minions. What? Yes. But how did you... Just tell me what happened to your friends. Well, that's the problem. I, I don't know what happened to them. Nice. I took to my heels and, and ran all the way here. You're some friend. Yeah, no kidding. Oh, come on. I was scared witless. Please, can you go and check on them? Uh, is there anything else I need to know about your friends? I'll take care of your friends. Lena is, well, let's just say she's seen better days. Um, is there anything else I need to know about your friends? Well, maybe you should go and have a look around on the small island in the lake. Maybe Tokel fled to that place. But that's just speculation. Nothing more. I'll take care of your friends. Thank you. Finally. Someone's doing something for me. I think you should start your search at the fisherman's hut. But make no mistake, those beasts are nothing to be trifled with. Nor am I. Lena is... Well, let's just say she's seen better days. You mean she's dead? Oh no. The shadow creatures were thorough. What terrible times we live in. Indubitably. Nonetheless, thank you for telling me about You're it. You're all welcome. Thank you for bowing to me. Tyrannus isn't what it used to be. Okay, so that was it. Easy peasy quest is done. Well, I think I think it's done. It says one of them still lives. Uh, was it L? L. Oh, we have so much stuff to figure out here. Uh -huh. Alright, well, we need to still do these monoliths, and then we start to go back to Takirigua and get the stone from Di Fuego, which is going to be super fun. Alright, well, there's still a whole bunch of stuff that we have to do, and I don't know where to start. I thought Magnus was going to let me join the uh, the order here, I but... Look after He's just like, which doesn't help me at all. Also, it's not a real, it's not real phrasing. Oh, what's this guy? Oh, homie, you lucky lucky here. Who are uh, you? Okay. I am Jafar, a big fucking hero <laughs> and friend to homie. <laughs> well, I was once. Me sad. A, a little sad and a little funny. What do you mean you were a hero? Look at me now! Jafar become Matar! Matar of Gnu! He must train young Gnu! Is that bad? No, but it means Jafar must watch over Protégé! Cannot sail sea anymore! Jafar stuck here on stinking Tyrannus! Me sadder! Me sadder too. How's your Protégé getting along? Jafar failed. My pivy has been among humans too long. <laughs> he never really learned from Mata what it means to be good Gnu. Who is your Pivi? My protege, he called Ali. He running through camp telling everyone he wants to be fucking guardian. <laughs> so weird hearing them cuss. Then let Ali become a guardian. After that you'll be rid of him. What? But Ali is Gnu. General Magnus has never accepted Gnu before. There's always a first time. You taking my piss? What? 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 Uh, excuse me. No, I am certainly not doing that. Uh. If you like sailing, 
I could use your help. I need a skilled thief like you on Who's my crew. Yeah. Yep, yep. You're far happy at idea. Generous offer. But Jafar is Mata and cannot just leave protege. Okay. Uh why don't you both just sail somewhere else? We come because GNU needed here. Jafar feel responsibility for homies and good for protege. Jafar still only here because protege no one to leave. I'll take care of Ali. I'll take care of Ali. What? You talk to Magnus so he will make Ali a guardian? I think I'll take a closer look at your protege first. Does Ali have any special skills that might impress the general? Um... Well... He's a gnu. This isn't going to be easy. No, no it's Okey not. Okie I wait here till you done. Okie dokie. Alright, well that sucks. And or is awesome. I don't know which. I haven't quite figured that part out yet, but that's okay. Snoozing people in here. What's up, cadets? I'm watching at, you, mate. At attention. We have Stanley's chest and a skull flower that we're going to totally accidentally steal. Well, some raw steel and... Gonna, it's useless oh, without the, right, have the key. right key. Boo. A lot of bones back here. It seems kind of silly. The saw stuck into the wood. It's kind of interesting, I suppose. In a weird, not really interesting sort of way. Huh. Alright, well, we're gonna go back through the cadets' little dealie here, and they're gonna be like, Why can we help you? Blah, 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 blah. No, no, you can't. But I will drink from. I will drink from your water barrel. And I will get healthy, and then I'll be all powerful. Yeah, I'm not sure how long before we're actually getting into some more combat, ladies and gentlemen, but eh, you gotta start somewhere, right? Gordon, You're what's not up, buddy? A guardian, are you? No, the mages saved me, so I'm doing my share here in the camp. I don't know the last thing about magic, what about the first but thing? I can forge a good sword, and a solid blade is a loyal companion in these times. Indubitably. You've got to hand it to him. Uh, He's right. Without good blades, we're doomed. Okay. What do you do when you're not at the forge? I sleep. Right. Uh, well, sometimes I have a little drink in the tavern after midnight. When you bang on the anvil as much as I do, sometimes your hand starts to get a little shaky. A strong drink helps to steady the bones, you know. Sure. And if you can have a drink in contest with someone on the same night, all the better. What did the mages save you from? Uh, it all happened too long ago for you to be remotely interested. Uh, maybe I am remotely interested. You're wrong. Tell me the story. It all started back in the time when the Inquisition and the Mages were still making common cores. I was already a smith then, and I was doing loads of overtime. I was so overworked that I forgot to fold one particular blade properly. Okay. Okay, so you forged a bad blade, so? But that's just it. That sodding blade ended up going to the Commandant, and of course, it snapped. He wanted to have my guts for garters, uh. so I packed my things and went over to the mages. I'd never have made it without them. I was so overworked, blah, 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 okay. Um. So, returning to the Inquisition is not an option? Definitely not. I hardly think they would welcome a deserter back with open arms. No. No, my place is here. The mages will accomplish what the Inquisition failed to do. Yeah. And that is? Defeat the Titans, once and for all. Oh, I think I've heard enough. All right. I have another iron in the fire anyway. Tell me about blacksmithing. Tell me about blacksmithing. I owe the mages, so you'll have to pay me. For if you're afraid of sparks, you'll be a terrible blacksmith. I'm a terrified if of sparks. all you need is a better weapon, I can sell you one. Uh, let's trade first. Let's trade. The EP. Alright. I guess it compares automatically. The machete. The, the mace. The crab stabber. The shadow blade. Throwing nice heavy daggers. You have garbage items, buddy. What are you doing? Look, I have more weapons than you do, man. I have an ancient epi. 
I have freaking Shadow Blade already. Look at this. Bam. Shadow Blade sitting right there. The Black Blade was forged in the underworld. I have a Knee Breaker, which I don't even remember getting, but it's there. The top, oh, yeah, yeah. The top heavy blade strikes with such impact that bones shatter like glass. And then we, of course, have the Bone Grinder itself. So, yeah, we're, we're rocking some pretty good stuff. Just saying. Just saying. We're, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. Alright, so I'm not actually going to sell to you. Uh, why don't you teach, teach me, me something? something? I just want to see what you're teaching. Oh, my goodness. That is expensive and not worth my m my monies. My mind on my money and my money on my... Alright, that's fine. Um, character? We have 6,000 monies. So, I mean, we have something. There's a workbench in here. That's kind of cool. Some more raw steel, an apple or two. Spyglass. Seems exciting. And a hand mirror. Yeah. Totally, totally gonna take that. Where did he go? Oh, he's sitting down. He's chilling. He's chillaxed and he's like, whatevs. Ooh, there's a rune stone. Yeah. I saw you, what? villain. I know what you're talking about, buddy. I was gonna bring that out to, to help you uh, do whatever it is that you do, buddy. Clearly, I wasn't going to steal anything. You didn't see that, did you, villain? Hey, yeah, I got your one gold and I'm stealing your water, too. I take your bed, but that's weird. What? Just. What are you doing I'm in here? I'm casually walking around, dude. Oh, gosh. Hi, guys. What's up, cadets? Yeah, let's just uh, just slowly walk away. No, no harm, no foul. Ali, what's up, buddy? Ali will be a big guardian. Yeah, he will. Yes, exactly. How do you know? Psychic. Your master told me. Mata Jafar, clever Gnu. Indubitably. You are a pain in the ass for your master, Titch. No, no. Jafar not cause concerns. I will be fighter and use magic. Uh -huh. Ali will be strong and no longer need Jafar. I promised your master I would help you. I promised your master I'd help you. Hmm. Homie helper. Good thing that. Ali needs homie friends for General Magnus. Indubitably. He will never let Ali be guardian. Why not? You go to General. Talk to him. Ali will come with you. Okay, dude, but you're gonna have to do something about that that tooth situation, man. It's uh something special. Running, running, running. I'm running over here. Boom. Do you take gnomes on as cadets too? As cadets? You must be kidding. Gnomes aren't exactly what we need here. But you can easily allow them to work for you. Are you talking about Ali? He's wanted to become a guardian since the moment he arrived here. I must admit, the little one has already done a great deal here in the camp. Uh -huh. Then train him. Ooh. Well, convince me. I have a bone. I don't have time to teach you all the basics. Break everything. Show me that the little one can at least fight, and I may consider training him. All right, run. General Magnus might be willing to train you. You wouldn't be a cadet, but you get a foot in the door. Yippee! Yippee! Slow down. <laughs> First, he'll need to see if you've grasped the basics of fighting. Ali can fight like Panther. Creepy. I'll show it to Pretty General. Cool. Hmm. But how? Well, let's put on a little, we'll stage. Put on a little stage combat. combat. Mm -hmm. Yes, but but you're much bigger than Ali. Didn't you say you're as strong as a Panther? Yes, but. You mustn't defend yourself, or Ali not fight. Fine. I'll let you hit me until I faint. That should convince the general. Yippee! Good idea. You start, yes? Okay. All right, now. Attack me, Titch. Oh, attacker! Yes! Oh. <laughs> Get a move on! I want to see something happen! He's pretty good, look at him! 
Don't heal me. Uh. Come on, Ali. You got this. Uh. So skillful, Ali. Uh. Uh. He beat me down. Uh. He hit me with a sword until I fainted. Ali's like, yeah, that's right. I'm amazing. I'm a freaking hero. I must look after my camp. Yeah, well, that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Ah, Ali is the greatest. Homie is afraid of Ali now, yes? Don't forget, we're just playing around. So don't get cocky. If things get serious, I'll flatten you. <laughs> okay, homie. What about training with General? I'll talk to him shortly. Homie better hurry. Uh, I'll flatten him. All right, we got plus three soul. I like it. Oh, cut the act. I'll teach little Ali. That is a good decision. Keep your comments to yourself, or I might change my mind. All right. I must look after my kid. I, I want to. I want to be a guardian too, or join the mages, or something. Uh, oh well, we'll figure that out in the next episode, folks. We're gonna come over here before we talk to him. We're gonna break it off, and we'll. Oh, look at this. Cadets are doing little weird mystical kata looking dealies. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to go chug some water and then we're going to come over here and break off the episode. So hopefully you folks enjoyed me walking around doing mage type stuff. Helping out little Ali and getting the adventurer himself to join. Oh, wait, wait, hold on. Why are you still following me? Oh. From now on, General Magnus is your master. Yippee! My dream come true! True. I go to other Gnu and tell all about it. You do that. One day, Crystal Glove of Guardian, my Ori Kulki, will be. Indubitably. Thank Tommy for big help. Yip, yip. You're welcome. Get out of here, Ali. All right, so there it is. Ali is done. We have we have Jafar. Ali sounds a lot like Aladdin all of a sudden. Either way, guys and gals, that is going to do it for the Risen 3 episode of the day. I will catch you guys next time with more Risen 3. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.